right, baby. I'm back. <laughs> Steve, you've been chasing me for years. Tonight, you just might catch me. From family matters to Hollywood stardom, ladies and gentlemen, Kelly Shanine Williams. But just who is Kelly Shanine Williams? And how did she rise from humble origins in Virginia to become one of Hollywood's most fascinating actresses? Journey with me and let's find out. Kelly Shanine Williams made her notable acting debut on the iconic 90s sitcom Family Matters. Besides, that's things that need to be done at this school, and that won't happen as long as Cassie Lynn Nubbles is in office. In a show centered around the Winslow family, her journey in the entertainment industry, however, had been more complex than one might assume, considering her enduring presence in a fan favorite series. Nonetheless, each actor's career takes a unique trajectory, and during her time away from the screen, Williams dedicated herself to making a positive impact on the world. Kelly was born on March 22, 1976, in Washington, D.C. She is the daughter of Shannon and John Williams. Growing up, Kelly was a timid and reserved child. She often found it challenging to express herself, which made her a bit of an awkward kid. However, her father noticed her potential and enrolled her in acting classes at the age of four to boost her confidence because, according to him, she had a charm and charisma that would sneak up on people. And boy, was he right. Kelly's talent for acting was evident from a young age, and she soon found herself modeling for children's costumes at six. Alongside modeling, she also acted in theatrical plays and commercials. Acting became her life's calling. Therefore, her father enrolled her in the prestigious Duke Ellington School of the Arts in Washington, D.C., where she continued to act in school plays and hone her talents. After a few gigs for children's commercials, at the age of 11, Kelly would eventually get her lucky break with her breakthrough role as Laura Winslow on Family Matters. She later recounted the excitement she felt at the time. It was undoubtedly one of the biggest wins of her life, and she would go on to reprise the role later for all nine seasons of the show's life. Her character was a fan favorite among audiences for her sassy attitude, wit, and good looks, and she had the perfect cast to complement her style. Put your shirt on. Couldn't we have taken a vote? <laughs> With Jaleel White's comedic genius, Don't worry, I won't keep her out late. I have to get up early and cook breakfast at the mission. To Reginald Vell Johnson and Joe Marie Payton's dynamic mother-father duo, to her contrast with her on-spring brother, played by Darius McCrary, her style was accentuated and her acting sprung to life. Much like other beloved sitcoms, such as Living Single, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and The Cosby Show, Family Matters stood out during its era as one of the few shows that highlighted the everyday lives of a beautiful African-American family. This show particularly struck a chord with Kelly, who used this show as a stepping stone to understand the harsh reality of life for many people. Despite achieving such monumental successes so early in life, Kelly remained humble and grounded, constantly reminded by her parents that success comes from hard work and should never be taken for granted. After Family Matters, Kelly Shanine Williams continued her acting career, appearing in various TV shows and movies, including Moesha, Eve, and What About Joan? It was clear that her career after Family Matters was coming to a standstill, with almost no filmography credits after the 2000s. Her career didn't skyrocket to the same heights as some of her Family Matters co-stars, such as Jaleel White and Darius McCreary, who went on to star in several blockbuster films. In 2000, she played one of the lead roles as Alice Adams in the sitcom What About Joan and reprised the role in all 21 series episodes. The only problem was that the show turned out to be a huge critical and commercial disaster. If her career wasn't already deteriorating, it sure was now. Following this failure, her prospect of finding solid ground for her acting career was gone. This period of her life was the worst. She began to develop an extreme form of imposter syndrome, where she started to question whether she had ever accomplished anything in life or whether her lucky break as a child was just that, luck. Like any young adolescent her age, she began battling with depression, anxiety, and the meaning of it all. It was a slow and painful fall into obscurity. Her family and friends began to peer through the curtains of her life and realized that she did need a break from Hollywood. She had spent most of her formative years in front of the camera. It was the only life she had ever known. 
At the behest of her close friends and family, she decided to spend some time away from acting. She had experienced the industry's demands and the challenges of fame from a young age. It was bound to take a toll on her sooner or later. Luckily for her, she managed to retain her sanity and dodged the bullet of stagnancy that haunts so many child actors. Also, given the allegations and scandals her peers from Family Matters went through, it was probably for the best. There were rumors that the actor Jaleel White was having an affair with someone on set, though the claim was never substantiated. There was a list of probable culprits, and among them was Kelly. This became yet another cause for consternation for the young woman who had to begin learning workplace politics at an early age. The last thing she wanted was for her name to be associated with drama. A break from Hollywood and the glimmering appeal of fame was precisely what she needed. She used her time off screen to give back to a society that has given her so much. Despite her hiatus from the acting business, she maintained strong connections with people inside the industry and used this to make a commendable effort to give back. In 2006, the actress returned to her roots in the Washington, D.C. region and initiated the Kelly Williams program. The objective was to provide underprivileged children with exposure to the arts, an opportunity they might not have otherwise. However, her contributions extend beyond her program. Williams took on a role on the board of the William Killebrew Foundation, a nationwide organization with a dedicated focus on issues related to sexual assault, domestic violence, trauma, and resiliency. Her involvement with this foundation is particularly vital, especially in today's context, highlighting her dedication to leveraging her platform and success to drive meaningful change, something she had wanted to do since her time on Family Matters. In 2009, on September 5th, Kelly Williams married Hannibal Jackson at Ebenezer African Methodist Episcopal Church in Fort Washington, Maryland. The couple met in 2007 through a mutual friend and now have two lovely children, a daughter named Hannah and a son, John. By all accounts, Williams was living a very idyllic life, but it was time to get back to work. Although it took some time for Williams to return to her acting career, she remained connected to the small screen in various capacities. She made appearances on television programs, appearing as herself on a few occasions. She took on co-hosting duties for a few episodes of Clean House and participated in Celebrity Wife Swap in 2015. However, her passion for acting couldn't be suppressed, and in 2020, Williams made a notable comeback in her acting career. She starred in the holiday movie Christmas in Carolina, reuniting with her TV brother Darius McRae, and together they portrayed siblings once again. Two years later, she graced the screen in another festive film titled Mary Switchmas. Williams was celebrating the joys of the holiday season, while her daughter Hannah followed in her mother's footsteps and made her acting debut. While the cat is out of the bag, at present there are no upcoming projects listed on Williams' IMDb page, but we can likely expect something from her pretty soon. And anyway, you don't have to be in front of a camera to make magic. Lately, Williams has found additional ways to remain actively involved in the film industry beyond just her acting. Together with two of her Family Matters co-stars, Darius McRae and Joe Marie Payton, she founded DreamFlix TV. It's an American internet television network and multimedia group that delivers a wide range of content, including news and entertainment, tailored for diverse audiences. This venture demonstrates her commitment to remaining a part of the industry and not subjecting herself to another extended hiatus. Kelly was a trailblazer when it came to fashion on screen. Her style was confident, effortless, and relatable to many young black women. Even today, she uses her Instagram and Twitter handles as an opportunity to spread her message of love, self-esteem, and courage. At 47 years old, she shows no signs of stopping, especially now that she is back in the acting business. With a net worth of $2 million, she is among the most successful businesswomen, actresses, and philanthropists in the world. Only time will tell what the future has in store for this multi-talented trendsetter.